Good morning, Genesis family. I hope you are all able to get out and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. The warmer weather, the plants and flowers blooming, um, signs of new life and hope all around us. So it is um, beautiful. It just makes me happy to have this change in seasons. What a good God that gives us um, different seasons to enjoy. I, as, you can, as I just said, I love this time of year. I don't know about you guys, but as much as I love this time of year, it is also one of, if not the busiest time of year for me and around our house. Um, spring sports finishing up. I know for some, some, some sports are just getting started. Um, you've got end of school and all that that brings, the studying, the finals, um, the graduations um, and making plans for the summer, trying to finish the year strong. For us at Genesis, we have several exciting things happening. We have the MICA point one run happening on April 22nd. We are finishing up Wise Kids for the school year. We are having an art show for the first time on April 30th to raise money for camp and Wise Kids. If you have any questions about that, you can contact me. Happy to talk to you more about that. Um, and we are getting ready for KAA, for summer camp. And all of these are wonderful and exciting things. But I know that if I am not careful, I can get too caught up in those tasks and the activities and everything associated with them and forget to slow down and spend quality time with Jesus, which is crazy because when I don't, things just get crazier. <laughs> um this Sunday, we are starting a new series in children's ministry called Challenge Accepted. And this week's first lesson is um, entitled The Whisper Challenge. And the passage we'll be studying this week is 1 Kings 19, 9 through 18. And just to save time, I'm going to just kind of give you a quick summary of that passage. So basically, Elijah um, was hiding out in a cave because he was being hunted by Jezebel. She had threatened to kill him. Um, and he, um, so he's hiding out in this cave, right? And God asked him, you know, what, what are you doing here? Um, Elijah was feeling weary and alone. And like, he was the only one doing all this stuff and live, the only one living for God. But God, as he always does, is gentle and takes care of Elijah and tells him to go to the mountain to wait for God. So while he is waiting, there's a great and powerful wind. It even shatters rocks, um, a huge wind. And then following that, there is an earthquake. And following that, there's a fire. But the Lord was not in any of those things. But after the fire, there was a gentle whisper. And the Lord was in the gentle whisper. This lesson was such a good and timely reminder to me that one, sometimes God doesn't answer or always come to uh, come to me, come to us in a big, powerful way. Sometimes it is in a gentle whisper. And two, I have to pause and wait on the Lord to be able to hear that gentle whisper because I don't want to miss it. And if I'm so crazy busy that I forget to pause, there I might. So my prayer for our kids and families and really all of us is that we enjoy all the fun and exciting things happening this time of year, thanking God for the change in weather and for these good gifts that he has given and for the things that he has given us to do, but that we also take time to pause and listen for that gentle whisper from our Lord. Let's pray. Dear God, we Thank you for the change in seasons, for the warmer weather, for the joy that brings, for the signs of new life that brings. God, we thank you for all of the exciting happening, for all of the exciting things happening um, this time of year with graduations and end of school year, beginning of summer. Um, and God, we thank you that you take care of us. God, we thank you and know that you know what is best for us. And so, Lord, we also ask that you would help us um, enjoy those things, but also be able to slow down and listen for your gentle whisper. God, we, may we not miss um, what you have for us, but may we only draw closer to you um, 
in all of these things. And may you be honored through our lives and that we, and Lord, may we be a light. Um, and may we reflect um, your goodness and your joy and your kindness to those around us. It's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Bye guys. See you later.